just a quick little tip for painting inside of drawers. Um, sometimes I line them with paper, but at the moment I'm doing um, some drawers with a really nice front to them. So what can I put inside? It's not going to clash, but the drawers are quite stained. This one's actually got a pink stain in it and I would like to try some milk paint in it. Now, I want a bright pink and have you seen this colour? I'm just trying to get it over here. Um, this is Homestead House and it's the colour Beret. So Homestead House is the company that is the umbrella company for Fusion Mineral Paint, Milk Paint by Fusion, blah, 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 and all the, all the rest of it. Um, and so, you know, Homestead House, Laurie and Scott have been making milk paint for over 30 years. So this is where Fusion started from, really. So anyway, I'm going to mix some up. I'm going to do it like a bit like a thick wash um, because I just want it fast and easy. So I'm going to pour. Now, you should measure all this um, with the milk paint, but you don't have to. You can just wing it. So I'm just going to mix it up. I'm kind of going to look for like a, a bit like a wash, I suppose. Oh, my goodness. Look at the colour when you start putting the water in. And the other thing about milk paint is you do need to seal it. Well, you don't have to seal it, seal it. You could just put wax over the top or something like that. Oh, wow, this colour. <laughs> it's electric. Um, but sealing it actually brings the colour out because when it dries, it dries quite matte and milky. Um, so if you then wax it or put a bit of tough coat on or something like that, you can put SFO or anything on, then um, it really brings the colour out. So anyway, I'm just going to mix a bit up here and show you what I mean. And I like using a pointed sash for these jobs anyway, to get into all the corners of the drawer. But also the pointed sash is really good for mixing the milk paint up. Um, you can use a whisk, but the pointed sash is quite good because it gets right in all the corner of your, you know, the cup that I'm using. Um, and sort of just, just breaks down all the pigments and bits, whatever. So I'm going to go for it and show you what this looks like. I've got already nice. It's a bit cold in here today. Anyway, so here we go. I'm just going to show you how. Well, look at that. I just can't get over that colour. It's amazing. And just so that I've got, wow, look at that coverage. And the other thing about milk paint is it doesn't leave you any um, brush strokes. So, so this is the colour of it wet. And this will be the colour of it once you've waxed. So for anybody that's a bit scared of trying milk paint, this is my suggestion. Try using it as a wash first. You can also use it as, you know, um, a wood wash. So you know how everyone's using like Algonquin or all them sort of colours to get like a natural looking uh, wood stain. You know, a, a stain at the end of the day is just something that penetrates the wood. So people are using colours like Algonquin, but there's loads of milk paint colours, like natural kind of colours that you could use, you know, sort of the greens and the, the blues and things to knock back, you know, sort of red colours or orange. But I can't get over the coverage of this, actually. I haven't used milk paint for a while. Woo! This is gonna pop. So there you go. That's just that bit. I'm gonna do the whole inside. And I just wanna show you the coverage, and I'm going backwards and forwards, all the things you shouldn't do, wow, with a wash. I really like that. I think that's just going to really, you know, make this pop with this. This is actually fabric that I've decoupaged onto the front. So the fronts of the drawers are going to have that, and I think that's going to be a wowzers. So anyway, I'll take some pictures when I finish later. I may or may not even bother to, um, to wax it. I'll see how I feel when it dries. Um, Milk paint actually bonds with the fibres of the wood, so it's really, really durable. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you what I was getting up to, and I'll, make, I'll take some pictures later so you can see. That's it. See you later. Just going to add that, um, so there you are, that's the whole inside of the drawer. Um, I'm actually going to put this back inside the chest of drawers, because that's quite a lot of moisture that I've added to the wood, and that might make the wood distort. So if I put that back in the drawers, it would only move to the shape of the drawers. Hope that makes sense. Just a little update. This is the beret from Homestead House, the milk paint. And I just want to show you what happens when you put um, hemp oil on it. So this is just inside a drawer. Two light coats that for three big drawers. That was one bag of 
and small bags you know the little tiny yeah sample ones so anyway i just want to show you what happened <laughs> look at the color it's incredible so, and my hands are going to get a little makeover too because i'm going to get all this hemp oil on me anyway what do you think isn't that just gorgeous and if you've never done it before try sanding after you i wouldn't do it on the inside of a drawer but if you're doing a piece of furniture try uh sanding with the hemp oil oh my god it is a uh, texture like stone anyway what do you think look you can see that pop incredible anyway i'll send you some post pictures when i'm done